welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas 2024 i cannot believe we're saying that again so quickly i feel like this year has flown by and for me christmas is just the best time of the year but it's never felt as magical as when i was a child this year my main intention behind vlogmas and my main intention behind my christmas and december as well is to bring back some of that christmas magic that we once felt i was a late 90s baby and so Christmas just used to hit differently back then. So this year I'm wanting to recreate the magic on my YouTube channel and also just in my life as well. So definitely expect to feel wholesome, cozy but tons of joy on my channel this year. And if you're new here, hello, <laughs> my name is Scarlett and welcome to my YouTube channel. Every other day at 5.30pm my Vlogmas uploads will be uploaded and every single video of mine this year will feature feature at least one festive recipe which is super easy to recreate and perfect for Christmas parties if you're hosting this Christmas, Christmas day, Christmas morning, literally anything you can think of I have every recipe coming out that is super simple so always check out the description box because there's going to be all the recipes in there, anything I'm wearing, anything I'm using, everything will be super easy to find in the description box. So vlogmas day one it's here and I am so excited. It is the best day of the year in my opinion because it is the day that we decorate my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree is up as we can see. I have titivated it and I fluffed it up because that is the most boring job to do and the most boring job in my opinion to watch. So I've done the boring stuff and yes I have dressed up <laughs> to dress up my Christmas tree this year. I just felt sparkly today so I popped on this new sparkly dress and the reality actually hits differently when you see what I'm wearing on my feet because now I'm not in high heels. I am in the home comforts of my favourite slippers, which I will leave linked. I'm not going to waffle on about them, but just believe me when I say that these are the best slippers ever. So these are from Holland Cooper and I live in these, so they're going straight back on my toes. And if you are new here, you won't know Maggie. Maggie is my shadow. She is my little helper to decorate my tree today. And I do have another doggy called Bridget, but she's a little bit more independent and isn't interested in decorating Christmas trees, but you will see her as the videos continue. With that being being said, I'm about to take us into the kitchen. We're going to make a very special hot chocolate because in my opinion, it should be against the law to decorate a Christmas tree without either a hot chocolate, a mulled wine or a glass of bubbly. I'm doing my tree on my ones, so it is a very wholesome evening this evening. So a hot chocolate it is, but I recommend you doing the same, grabbing a hot drink of choice, getting cozy under a blanket, and I hope you love this video. And are we ready to go? <gasps> Are we gonna decorate the Christmas tree? But come with me, let's go make a hot chocolate. So for a very special hot chocolate, you need milk chocolate, hot chocolate flakes. I love the Hotel Chocolat ones, but I've recently bought the M&S ones, because they're a little bit more affordable. We also have the M&S chocolate whipped cream, the best thing that has ever been invented. And we've also got, of course, some mini marshmallows. However, Christmas, in my opinion, is not Christmas, and decorating a Christmas tree is not decking it, de da 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 da, is not decorating a Christmas tree unless you have a box of Fox's biscuits or a tin of Quality Street celebrations, etc. And as a sweet tooth girly, I love all of the above, but for me, the Fox's Viennese biscuits are just the ones, and I really wanted to save on doing them with you guys for this video, but I got a little bit peckish this morning, so my fingers have been in here. But Christmas is not Christmas without a good biscuit selection box. So, anywho, enough of the waffle, and let's get on with the hot chocolate making. <laughs> this not look like the yummiest hot chocolate ever and I just want to influence you guys if I influence you to do anything it is try your hot chocolate through a straw obviously once it's cooled down because you end up not getting whipped cream everywhere and you also then get to suck it all up through a straw and you don't end up missing any bits and pieces so it's my new ladylike way of drinking a hot chocky mm. wow and I'll have one more sip just to make sure but I 
feel like they're just as good as the Hotel Chocolat ones, so definitely try it out. But anyway, it is time to decorate the tree, and I just want to talk about my tree, because my tree is epic. I invested in my tree last year. So I've always had a fake tree because I wouldn't really know what to do with a real tree once December's over. I feel like they're quite expensive to be buying year on year and I know they fill the house with such a gorgeous smell and they do give off a different vibe but I can buy Christmas tree scented candles if I want the house to smell like a Christmas tree. And I've always had those Christmas trees that you buy, they're around sort of 80 to 100 pounds and you look at the box and they're fat and they're fluffy and you get them home and they look like they've been on a serious diet after Christmas. So I've just never been happy with a Christmas tree and last year I thought, you know what? I love Christmas. My tree is up for at least two months. I'm going to invest in a really good one and you will not believe me when I say that this tree was £180, which I know is not cheap. However, this is a fat and fluffy Christmas tree. It has the realistic branches. It also has pine cones on it and it does still have those usual false tree branches on it but they're the ones that are right at the back so they're the ones that you fluff up to close any holes and gaps within the tree if that makes sense. So it then does end up looking so fat and fluffy and I spent about 10 minutes fluffing this up. Genuinely just about 10 minutes. It's pre-lit as well and I think the other day when I checked there was a couple left in stock, got it on Amazon, I will leave it linked. Definitely keep an eye out, even if it's sort of throughout the year, just before next Christmas, um, have a look at this one because you never know if there's a deal that comes on, but it is just the best Christmas tree. So I'm going to step out the way from this Christmas tree so you can actually have a look at it before it's decorated. <laughs> I'm going to try and keep my hand as steady as possible and my tree sketch was a bargain from B&M last year at £12 and it is an identical one to the white companies. Anywho, that is enough waffle from me. It is time to decorate my tree. Last year I went for white and gold. This year I want to introduce a little bit of red throughout, a little bit of sort of burgundies and velvets. I've also got some more sort of dark pine green emeraldy velvet baubles as well but I kind of just want to have a bit of a play with my tree this year. Last year's tree was beautiful and very classy but did it scream Christmas childhood nostalgia? No it didn't. So we're going to try and introduce a little bit more sparkle and a little bit more glitz and fun to my tree this year. Depending on the TV because personally I love to decorate my Christmas tree to a Christmas film and I'm thinking Home Alone because it is one of my favourites. I'm so excited. that didn't meet Bridget earlier, meet Bridget. Before we decorate the rest of the house and put the dinner on, when I was unboxing all my baubles, what I did find, and the reason I'm holding Bridget now is because the second she sees this, she's going to run away upstairs and I won't be able to catch her for the rest of the day, because I found the doggy's Christmas outfits. <laughs> The sheer horror. Maggie, my other doggy, she loves being dressed up. Bridget absolutely hates it, don't you? So, so Bridgie, would you like to be Father Christmas or his elf? Because we said that Maggie earlier was my little helper, I think Bridget's got to be Santa. Look at her face. <laughs> she hates it so much. Oh, darling. Maggie, don't be jealous. It's your turn in a minute, Mags. See, Maggie loves it. She's jealous and is desperate for hers. Bridgie, I think we've put some pounds on since last year, my darling. I don't know if it's going to do up. <laughs> oh, the top bit will they? Darling, have we, have we put on a couple of pounds? Darling, the hood won't even go. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should we show the camera a bit closer? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a Christmas, Bridgie. And it won't do up. <laughs> 
Okay, Maggie's done. Come on. She won't move now for the rest of the evening. Bridgie, you can move. <laughs> oh. She won't move a muscle now. I have to take it off. I didn't get a minute. Can't eat it, Mags. No, Maggie Lou's got to wear this. This is Maggie's new outfit. It's not a toy. No. I don't know if this, this might be the cats actually. Oh no, this will go on. Mm. Is this going to go on, Mags? Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Bridget still hasn't moved. Bridget, darling, you can move in that. Bridget. Anytime Bridget gets dressed up, she just freezes and just doesn't move. But if the Amazon driver comes soon, which I think he's due to come soon, I feel like she'll soon move then. <laughs> Whereas Maggie knows she can do everything in her dress because she's just Father Christmas's little helper. Can we show your outfit closer? <laughs> Let's zoom in. Bridget, it's not that bad. <laughs> Bridget, do you not like mommy? <laughs> It's not that bad. And then we've got Mummy's little helper. She loves being dressed up, don't we? Her outfit has bells on it and everything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've now got two Christmassy doggies. Bridget's decided that she can sit down, so at least she's nice and comfortable. But I think it's time to pop the dinner in. And today's dinner is super easy to recreate. So let's go to the kitchen. And we meet back in the kitchen. So for this evening, this is just a really yummy dinner for me, but would be perfect at Christmas dinner parties, hosting, or just obviously dinner for yourself as well. Perfect for like a Christmas day side, perfect to keep in the fridge for lunches and things as well, as it would definitely be a nice leftover option as well. So what are we making? We are making a brie and cranberry slice pie I don't really know what I want to call it but it's super simple super delicious and then on the side of that one of my favorite things in the world is home cooked cocktail sausages but cooked in honey the shops unfortunately were out of cocktail sausages so I have pigs and in blankets instead which I do feels like a lot more festive anyway so come on into the kitchen and let's get cooking so I am cheating and I am using ready-bought puff pastry you can make this if you want to but it is just so easy to buy it the whole way around I'm just going to fold in the edges of my pastry and now you have a nice even crust all the way around to test the real woman power of opening up a jar that hasn't been opened and there's no man in the house I think I'm a legend <laughs> so I'm just going to pop a little bit of cranberry sauce at the bottom. This is a step that you don't have to do as we're going to be adding a little bit more cranberry later on but if you're like me and you love cranberry sauce then I definitely recommend just lining the pastry at the bottom with a little bit because this way with every mouthful you will end up with some cranberry sauce. And I'm just going to move this to the side for a second while we top up our brie. And I'm just using the President Brie because it's so easy to get your hands on this. And in terms of value, it is one of the cheapest. I'm going to thinly slice this lengthways. And you're not to judge my hand placement. It's very difficult doing this when <laughs> you, if I'm like holding it properly, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to swap seeds again. Going to again place these lengthways. space. I think we're only just about going to have enough with one block of cheese. This is literally the perfect amount of brie. <laughs> These few steps are super simple as well. So to be bougie and have a little bit of crunch, I'm going to chop up a couple of pecans, including these over the top. And then just throwing a little bit of extra cranberry around. Quite chunky. and then I'm just going to brush the edges. Now she's ready, I'm going to bake her until she's golden brown. Now that's cooking, it is time to sort out my pigs and blankets. I've just got my air fryer out actually, so I'm going to cook them basically all the way through in there without any honey. And then the last couple of minutes cover them in honey to make them nice and sticky. 
Wow. Snow is falling down I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness A time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love In this winter my lounge looks amazing oh my goodness i'm going to give you a little time lapse of the finished outcome in a second and once i've shown you the time lapse i'm going straight to sleep because in the morning on this video we are getting my hair done together i'm then going to go christmas decoration shopping and then baking a very classic christmas bake of a chocolate yule log so definitely hold tight if you've made it through this far and i hope you're loving the video Wonderful time of the year. Christmas, I gave you my heart. Good morning, everybody. It's bright, it is early, and it is time this morning for my pre Christmas hair appointment. So, of course, we're going together. Of course, just pulled up to grab a festive drink en route, and then it's time to get the tunes going and let's get my hair done. I ought to come again for you. Hi there, can I get a caramel waffle latte please? Caramel waffle latte, of course. Don't let me clean that one, come uh, on. Yes please, thank you. Anything else? Uh, no, that's fine, thank you so I'll much. See you down at the window. Thank, thank you. you. I feel like it should be a rule that you can't turn up to any self-care appointment over the festive season without a festive drink. It sets the mood, it sets the scene, it's the whole experience. <laughs> Hi there, can I scan my coat? That's okay, thank you so much. Thank you. It's $5.99. Thank you so much. You smell amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. There you go, camera will pull out. You're a star, have a lovely day. And you, thank you. Oh, that's made my day. <laughs> I think what I'm wearing, oh, I'm wearing Molten Brown, gold. Gold Oud Accord? Accord, Accord, Gold Oud? I can leave it linked and I'm also gonna leave this scarf linked. It's my new winter favorite and it's under 10 pounds. It's from Amazon and oh my gosh, it is so, so cozy. But anyway, enough waffling on from me. I'm going to enjoy my caramel waffle latte and turn up the tunes.
my best look. Chloe's just gone to go and make us a cup of tea while the blonde sets in and then it's time to wash it off, have a good blow dry and pop my tape extensions back in. So in case you're new here, my last appointment I had the Beauty Works tape extensions put in and I've loved them. I've had no issues with them, they're totally undetectable. I don't really find the drying time that much longer and it just means that every time that I curled my hair or blow dried it nicely, the curls lasted for such a long time, it's added so much thickness to my hair as well and also made it look a lot blonder because there's so much blonde throughout and not that I want to promote getting anything sort of enhanced in any way personally I'm totally natural I've got no filler in my face no Botox like what you see is exactly what you get but just having slightly thicker hair and it's something that you can take out whenever you want to as well I didn't personally find that my hair was damaged with them either that is just personal experience but I've but I've loved having them and I've definitely had a lot more confidence since having them in as well. I'm very much someone that likes to work on loving myself in every way that I possibly can love myself and overriding insecurities and things like that. But in the job that I'm in, having good hair definitely helps and it just prevents me washing it all the time. And as I say, if I curl my hair, it lasts a lot longer and will also last throughout a day at an event as well, which is definitely needed in my situation sometimes. So that is my experience with hates but I'm just waiting for my cup of tea and then we will re-bring in the time lapse of getting my hair done. <laughs> Unleash the blonde. Yes. <laughs> And every time I see her, I'm just like, do what you want to do. Last time we cut back from my sort of root stretch and introduced a tiny bit more blonde. And I loved the amount of blonde that we introduced. So I'm not like a super bleach blonde. So when it grows out, it still looks super natural. And this time we were going to introduce a little bit more of a root again, but I've actually really loved being a bit blonder. So we went for three tones. We've gone for a low light and then two different blondes. So there is the bleach blonde in there and then also a honey blonde as well. And I just think the tones are so beautiful. And again, it's just gonna grow out so naturally. I'm naturally quite a sort of mousy brown you can probably see it at the top of the crown of my head. So when I was super blonde this time last year, every time my hair grew out, you could really see it. And it was super blocky between sort of the highlights and the roots of my head. So I just love, so I just love being a little bit more tonal, but also keeping the brightness with the blonde as well. She is so, so clever. So anyway, I'm starving. I've suddenly just come across, not just a little bit hungry, but absolutely famished. And I think the closest supermarket to here is Asda. So I'm going to run in, grab a festive sandwich, of course, and then off we go to the shops. Now, and the shops that we are 100% going to, we have got a mini home sense to go and have a look around. There is a home bargains and the range. And we also <laughs>
some shopping. Wellies are on, on a dog walk. Where are my doggies? We've got one there. It is absolutely freezing. It's Mummy's Naggy Nunu. Come on then, on our walkies. Bridget, no fox poo. Come. What have you just been rolling in? <laughs> Come here, let me see you. Are you covered? Can you need a bath? Come here. She's so naughty, Nagi Me would never do that. Maggie, is that your cat? I think she's gonna pounce on one of you. She looks ready to pounce. Hi, baby. You decided to join us on our walkies. Yeah. Meow. Baby. Oh. Kitty oh my goodness me, it's got so chilly. I've just got home and inside I've just turned the heating up. I feel like the temperatures have suddenly just dropped, but I am home from my day out. The doggies are walked and before my Ocado delivery arrives, I thought I would share with you everything that I picked up today. Before I do, I bought this on a whim. It's just arrived and I've just popped it over my shoulders. This is the softest thing ever. It's giving a Mers vibes. I'm hoping that you can see that. This is from Amazon. This was so inexpensive and you can wear it as a scarf, a shawl, use it as a blanket. It is so soft, so cozy, so snuggly, but also really lovely as well. So I will leave it linked because as I say, this is so affordable and would make such a lovely Christmas present. But starting with Home Bargains, which I will admit was actually a little bit underwhelming, but I did get the Fox's Viennese biscuits. These are my favorite biscuits at Christmas and I needed a restock. <laughs> and although I said I was underwhelmed, this bag is so heavy. First things first, I picked up a hot water bottle. I picked up some seasonal Zaflora. I love my Zaflora. This is in the cozy moment scent. We're doing a big blitz in the next couple of days of the house, so the more festive scents around the house, the better. Hence why then I picked up a um, floor cleaner from Astonish. This is in Winter Spice. Another seasonal scent. We have got the 1001 Carpet Fresh. This is in Apple and Cinnamon. I love this stuff. It just leaves the house smelling amazing. I then got this super big candle. I think this was $2.99. Smells incredible. And this is in Apple and Cinnamon. Honestly, the um, Home Bargains candles are really fantastic, especially for ones that you just want to burn just to keep the smell going through without using your expensive ones, if that makes sense. A very boring purchase of stain remover. <laughs> And then lastly, some Lenore Indulge Gold Orchid um, Fabric Softener Conditioner, whatever. I love the smell of this, so I always like to have this in my cupboard. And then for home scents, starting with the one thing that I really do not need any more of. Well, I now have another two. <laughs> I do not need more mugs. Mugs are my obsession, and I just love mugs. I have no room for more mugs, but... Welcome to more to the family. But I didn't just buy these because they're festive, I bought them because they're Spode, and Spode is one of my favorite China brands. I am such a collector of the Blue Italian Spode. These are the Christmas tree Spode, and I loved the tartan rim as well. So definitely had to buy these. These were half price to retail, these were $14.99. Okay, now this, I'm going to sound like a crazy person talking about this. It might not, but personally I just feel like this is quite a weird thing to say and think about when Christmas shopping. You're about to be welcome to my brain. <laughs> so this is a snow globe. It's a really lovely snow globe actually, but my thought process behind this is snow globes back in the 90s, early 2000s when I was younger just used to be so magical and I feel like the more modern they're getting, the more they're losing that magical spark. And this one did give me slight nostalgic sort of vibes, but here's where it might sound slightly bizarre. So when I was a child and when I was younger, I was handed down snow globes. I've got quite a few snow globes. So I thought I would buy one because this one, as I say, does give me slight nostalgia vibes and they're only going to get more. And I feel like they're only going to get more modern. So if I buy this now, love this now, use it on display every Christmas from now, in many years to come when I maybe do have my own family, it could be something that I hand down to either children or grandchildren before they get too modern. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so this, I mean, this is a me purchase, but it could potentially be handed down at some point. <laughs> 
So anyway, that was my thinking. So this was twelve ninety nine. So great family heirloom to hand down, isn't it? Really. But um, anyway, I just think it's cute. And this one sings or doesn't sing. But hang on, let me twist it. I don't know if you guys could relate to that or not, but that was just sort of my thought process. Um, anyway, next I got a milk jug, but I'm actually going to be using this as a gravy jug. Don't judge me um, over Christmas because I just really loved this. This was 6 .99. It's got a Highland cow. I love a Highland cow. It's got a little duck and a Christmas tree. There's a sheep. There's a dog with a wheelbarrow full of parcels with a robin on. There's another duck. There's a duckling and there's a pig. <laughs> just thought this was super super cute and there's quite a lot of gravy that could be fitted in there as well and I do love me some gravy. <laughs> then we got another big candle, huge candle, such a heavy candle at such a good price. This was $14.99. It obviously is super aesthetic and it's from DW Home which is one of my favourite candle brands that you can buy in HomeSense. They just smell amazing. In terms of the Home Bargains one at $2.99 I think it was, it smells fantastic and the smell does linger and you just don't and you don't mind burning them. I do find they don't burn the best, like you do get quite a lot of candle wax around the outside, but for $2.99 you can't really complain, whereas these burn really well, they smell absolutely incredible, and even without the hat on, they make the house or the room that you're in smell amazing without even being burnt, if that makes sense. And then lastly, and you'll see with my Ocado haul in a second that I am a sucker for a Christmas plate or bowl, I bought myself this bowl. It is just me that lives here and a lot of time when I'm making things, baking things, it is just me. So having some nice serveware just for myself to make myself feel better sometimes just really makes me feel good. So this is a RRP of $12.99 and TK Maxx was $5.99. Again, it's just giving me nostalgic Christmas vibes. It's actually a Royal Stafford, so maybe I should have bought more of this. That is all of that haul. I need to put everything away now. Wait for my Ocado haul. Although I won't bore you and show you everything in my food shop, there are some non-foodie bits and some really nice foodie bits that are coming. So I'll show you the good bits. Um, and I just won't show you like the vegetables and all the boring stuff. So we'll wait for that to come as well. Still waiting for the Ocado delivery. It is 7.30 in the evening and I've just got a real hankering to make some homemade bagels. I've made them before. They're so simple and so easy. And I know I probably promised you guys that in every single video there is going to be Christmas slash festive related recipes. So this is one of two recipes in this video and this recipe is Christmas related I would say because it is the perfect Christmas morning breakfast recipe. If you're like me my tradition is scrambled eggs and smoked salmon and on a homemade bagel this year I know it's just going to hit different. I feel like when thinking of homemade breads and bagels they actually sound so much more complicated than what they are. This is a really simple and sort of almost foolproof recipe I would say. And they're also freezable so you can make them ahead. That's what I'm doing today is just so I've always got some form of bread in the freezer that's homemade. I know the ingredients that are going into it and there's always those days where I get back late or I'm starving at lunchtime or I just don't have anything in the house and I haven't got the time to go out in that hour or that second. I always regret not having some form of bread in the freezer. So I'm making my bagels now to freeze immediately so Come on into the kitchen even though you're already into my kitchen, it's just a very small kitchen. And I'm going to point you down this way and we're going to make some homemade bagels. Okay, so starting off with a cup and a half of warm water. Then adding a tablespoon and a half of active yeast. With a tablespoon of brown sugar and just mixing that together. And then we're setting this aside. Okie dokie, then... Getting out a nice big mixing bowl, I actually got this one about a year or so ago, again from Ocado and it's still in stock. We need a sieve and we need four cups of plain flour. For me, sieving is the most therapeutic thing ever. And then, half a teaspoon of salt, I'm just using some sea salt. A quarter cup of brown sugar, I'm using an eighth cup because I can't find my quarter cup so I'm just going to be using two of these. Giving that a little mix with a wooden spoon before then getting my yeast, which is now activated, and pouring that in. And I know there are a lot of people that don't like kneading because of this reason, but personally I just find this really therapeutic. I could do this all day long. I love my dough, it's perfect like that. 
Okay, so now you do not need to use a pie dish. It's just the first thing that came to hand. I'm just gonna create some little dough balls and you kind of want to twist them so that they're inside out and give them like a little pinch at the bottom here, if that makes sense. And then you get a perfectly rounded little ball. <laughs> Next one. And the last one is the biggest one yet. These are now to be left for about 15 minutes until we then poke the holes in and leave them for a further 30 minutes to rise. Well, my cardio order has arrived and to quick fire the exciting parts of the order, we have two of these. These are Christmas advent calendars for dogs. They're from Denzel's and there are 24 packs of tasty dog treats inside. My doggies are gonna love these so much. And as I said to you guys earlier, I love myself a Christmassy plate. So this is a Sophie Conran mistletoe plate and it's just really beautiful. P perfect for me, myself and I. <laughs> also, I think with my food shopping, I may have mentioned this, I'm usually either a little girl or an Ocado slash m &S girl. I'll either run into m &S or I'll order everything on Ocado, usually because there's great deals and offers all the time on Ocado. And also the majority of the time, delivery is either free or about 99p, so it's a real bargain. And I get my meats and my fishes at three for 12 pounds, including salmon fillets, which is so incredible. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, m &S, that's bougie, actually when you're shopping on Ocado, and also I think m and in general, for the quality of food, the prices really aren't as bad as some of their competitors, in my opinion. But I'm either m &S or I'm little. <laughs> Back to fun purchases. Truffle filled brie. This is a bougie purchase. I think this is about £6.50, which is expensive. But I'm going to be enjoying this for me, myself and I. This is a little present for myself. And it's the price of a takeaway coffee, which I know I had today as well. But um, I won't have to borrow a chocolate hobnob because they're the best ever. And also a top up of my favourite hot chocolate. Some posh cranberry sauce. I bloody love cranberry sauce. This is jam packed with delicious cranberries. It's from Stokes looks delish and also wag treats are doing rude off festive cookies for the doggies as well i got those again just because they were on offer i got a set of three um pyrex 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 mixing bowls just the glass ones as well so the rest has been put away i'm going to put all this away now and then let's wait for my bagels to finally go into the oven okay back to the bagels super simple i've just got a couple of teaspoons of brown sugar in the bottom of the pan popping water into boil I note the bigger the hole they go in at, the better, as during the boiling process the hole does tend to close up, but you want to cook them on about a minute each side. Um, a lovely egg wash glaze. Then I get these bagel seasonings from TikTok shop. You've got the good one and the bad one. The good one isn't as spicy as the bad bagel. Um, they're actually called the good bagel and the bad bagel, so I sprinkle a little bit of each on each one. Very sparingly with the bad bagel, and I heavily season with the good bagel. And I'm now going to bake them until they're golden brown. And now they're done, they need to cool, and then I'm going to pop them straight in the freezer. Oh, wow, wow. Excuse the sounds of the dishwasher in the background. These are the most delicious bagels. And trust me when I say that you will be so thankful that you pre-made them before Christmas Day for Christmas breakfast, and any other breakfasts or lunches that you've got coming up where you just really want a super yummy bagel. And although it's really easy to buy things like this from the shops, Eating something that you've made from scratch like that, where even though it's not complicated, it kind of feels like complicated when you're eating it. It feels like such an accomplishment. <laughs> but it's now time for me to have a self-care evening, a lovely bath, and go to bed. I'm checking in with you guys in the morning though, because we are making a very special Christmas dessert slash pudding slash cake. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody, it is bright, it's early, and it is time to start baking. I have my cup of tea, and I've got a really busy day actually today. We are riding Ringo, but before that, I really want to bake a chocolate Yule Log with you guys. And in my opinion, or my thoughts, my thoughts are, my opinion is, I don't know which I'm trying to, it's early and I don't know what I'm trying to say, but my favorite Christmas dessert, basically, or pudding or cake, is uh, <laughs> any of the options that are coming out of my mouth currently. Uh, uh, it is, uh, it is, oh my, goodness me take a breath start again my favorite christmas cake slash pudding is a chocolate yule log and last year i saw a lot of people trying the chocolate brownie style yule log which i'm assuming is a lot more easier to roll because it's a lot stickier it just looks quite stodgy so i'm going to be making the traditional and for me a swiss roll slash yule log has to be light and fluffy and just really simple and yummy to make so we're going to do that this morning the only thing that's really hard with a swiss roll is the roller 
up and you've got to roll it up basically as it comes out of the oven so you do just have to go in there with your hands unfortunately and just brave it to roll it up and then leave it to cool and then the rest of it isn't as difficult but anyway come on into the kitchen and let's start baking this morning <laughs> my new business when i bring the kitchen aid out i'm starting by whisking up four large eggs sugar which is a hundred grams or half a cup and next it's 65 grams of self-raising flour which is also equivalent to half a cup with a third cup of cocoa powder a little bit of sea salt in mine as well I'm using this baking tin, I'm hoping this is going to be okay actually to use, but I've just lined it, making sure it's nice and flat, and I also just like to go around with a one calorie spray as well, just to give it, just to give everything an extra bit of greasing. And I'm going to bake this for about 8 to 10 minutes. Straight back to the KitchenAid because I want to get working on my buttercream as my cake cooks. And I'm going to be using about 300 grams of butter to about 600 grams of icing sugar. And also just to note that I'm using softened butter too. And with your buttercream you could be as creative as you like. My top tip is if you want your buttercream super white and light, keep this mixing for as long as possible. Um, I think I'm actually going to add some Biscoff into mine though and just make it a little bit more fun and flavoursome. Never be scared to add more butter or icing sugar as you go as well. This is when we want to act super quickly. The quicker we roll this, the better. It is hot. You've just got to push through and be quick. Oh, so hot. Okay. And that is how we let her cool, and that is how we don't get any cracks. I feel like I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. As everything was cooling, I took the dogs for a walk, and we've got the perfect Maggie who trots along being a good doggy, and Bridget will find any excuse she can to roll in fox poo. So I've just had to bath her, basically, and she shakes and she does everything to get out of being bathed, and so I am now probably more bathed than what she is, which is just lovely. Um, but anyway, it is now time to make the chocolate ganache ahead of putting everything together and watching the Yule Log come alive. So let's crack on with our cooking. 300 mils of double cream, and I'm just going to be heating this up. Not super hot, but enough for chocolate to be able to melt into it, and so that I can comfortably still keep my finger in it. Okay, and now she's ready. A little mix and a little stir, and then I'm just going to break up some chocolate and mix it all together basically. Oops, it's all going everywhere. now finished and cooling in the fridge so now let's unravel this bad boy and fill it full of buttercream okay just grabbing a flat side of a knife to push all of the buttercream around so it's nice and evenly spread I've done quite a thick buttercream because I just think it will cut a lot nicer but And now again for the final roll. I'm scared. Okay, wow. I'm gonna transfer her to a board. Now to wait for the ganache to set. Pour over the top and we're basically now done. Taking 
The ganache is chilled. I'm hoping this is going to be thick enough, actually. I'm thinking it is. Hopefully it's not just going to run straight off the side, but let's finish icing our Yule log. I would definitely say that making it with buttercream is a lot easier, but the ganache just tastes incredible. It's just very messy. Yes, I have just had a quick shower as I've just got back from the horses. Wow. So excitingly, I've just had a gorgeous Joe Malone delivery arrive. So let's unbox and see what I've got. My current favorite is the Scarlet Poppy, but this is the Red Hibiscus. Really on the market, I say on the market, on the lookout for a new, staple fragrance you know sort of a fragrance that i can get it out of the box you know how when you smell a smell or you smell a scent or a fragrance and it automatically reminds you of a person i'm really looking for that scent my issue is i love perfume i'm not that fussy either on perfume i'm not the biggest fan of anything super sweet i do prefer sort of more amber musky woody a little bit of vanilla sort of spicier scents but especially the spring and the summer i do love floral scents as well so i'm not the fussiest in terms of finding a scent that i love so i do wear multiple scents on different days together I mix and match all the time so I haven't really got like a fragrance that you'd smell and think that smells like scarlet so could this be the one give it a little shake oh my gosh oh wow that's beautiful how are we describing this it definitely has a sort of woody musky side to it but also with a really feminine non-overpowering sweetness oh my gosh i love it oh wow so far i'm saying that this is an absolute hit and is actually overtaking my love for the scarlet poppy which i didn't think would be possible but i really really love that this isn't an ad by the way either this is just very kindly turned off on my doorstep which is very exciting but anyway i think it's time now to conclude vlogmas day one so thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far and i hope you've loved vlogmas day one i really hope that you come back again every other day from today and check into my vlogmas videos and also just a side note to say that any form of engagement this christmas would mean the world to me every like every comment i see everything and i am so 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 grateful but also in the long run as well it really helps me to continue creating these videos and then I also get to see which videos you love most and what I should be creating more of too so it really helps in all areas but I'm so grateful that you've watched today's video and I really genuinely hope you loved it and if this is the only video of mine you watch this vlogmas Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoy everybody else's vlogmases as well and I hope to see you the day after tomorrow at 5 30 have the best day. Mwah.